The best answer for Romney is to say, uh, basically, why Steve Ratner is saying what he's saying, he was the auto czar. Obama goes up and down America boasting about his success in saving the auto industry. How did he do it? Within the first six months of the bailout, the auto industry lost 140,000 jobs. And still, three years later, it has not yet recovered the employment level. It's still minus 20,000. At the same time, one in 10 auto dealerships evaporated, were wiped out. We started out with about 20,000. It's about 17 and a half right now. And the answer is why, because when you have a sick, ailing, and in the, in the case of autos, a dying company, industry, you have to go in, you have to make it lean, people are going to lose jobs. It's the only way in the capitalist system that you can sustain it, save some of the jobs, and then in the end, build back. And that's what the government did. And in the case of Obama and the auto company, he could sprinkle in there billions of dollars that he took from the Treasury, which a private equity firm cannot do. He could also use the courts in a way that private equity can't to shove through a bankruptcy procedure that was unprecedented, if not illegal, screwing the bondholders in order to save the UAW. So with all of those instruments, they still had to fire 140,000 people. That's how it works. That's what Bain Capital did. And it still ended up overall under Romney with a net creation of jobs. That's how you answer it. It's not that hard.